Eight bottles cost $6.80. How much do 11 bottles cost? So this is a similar problem to example number three. We're gonna start off by setting ourselves a ratio. Eight bottles cost us $6.80. And now we're looking for the cost of 11 bottles. So we're creating a proportion, which is a comparison of two ratios. And we're looking for C cost. You can make your variable whatever you want it to be. I think it's helpful to make it the first letter of what you're looking for to remind yourself the answer that you're looking for. So you can always solve a proportion by cross multiplying. 8C equals 6.80 times 11. So um, that's going to be a 0, an 8, and a 6. Hold the place, a 0, 8, and 6. 0, 8, 14, 7, with two places. So 74.80, and then I'm going to divide by 8 with my dollars here. And the cost is going to be $74.80 divided by 8. 8 will go into 74 nine times, which is 72. 4 minus 2 is 2. Bring down the 8. Bring up the decimal. It will go into 28 uh, three times, which is 24. And 8 will go into 45 times. Exactly. So the cost is $9.35 which makes sense because eight, eight bottles cost $6.80 and 11 is a few more than eight and $9.35 is a few more dollars than $6.80. So that's in the right ballpark. If you had stopped around $74.80, you would come back to your answer and see that that wouldn't make sense because eight bottles costing $6.80 would not make such a huge jump to $74.80 for 11 bottles. So remember when working with word problems, um, or any problem, it's always a great idea to go back and check if your answer makes sense. Thank you for watching educator.com.